I always take on things that are too big for me. And in my indie game, this still applies. If you've been following my game dev series, then you'll know I'm working on a fan submitted feature to have the ability to pick up and drop rubbish. From the last video that I posted, I was complaining about how messy the code to get this to work is. However, I'm now using a custom function. And a custom function has saved me so many times. But its nifty feature is how I'm sorting my rubbish bags now, instead of all the cluttered chaos from last time. Thanks to these, I've been able to pick up the bags through the spawn bag function that I made. Then following the logic from the last attempt, I can get the bags to follow the player. And now, thankfully, I can drop the bag and it spawns back in the world. This is huge, because I wasn't able to do this last time. And it was all done thanks to the custom functions. But if you know my channel by now, it's never that easy. The final issue we have to tackle is getting the already existing bags to delete. They all use the same script. So if you use something like Q3, then it deletes all the instances of it. I really don't want that to happen. So that's me off, working on this project to try and fix this issue yet again. Subscribe to keep updated with my game making process and like, so we can share some good content with others.